saying hi. Um, we are taking part in the world record biggest science lesson ever. So we've got 23 different schools taking part. I think a total of about 2,300 girls. Um, and we're all trying to measure the gravitational acceleration constant um, using two really simple experiments, actually. So the girls behind me here are all taking part. First of all, in the first experiment where we're going to drop a bean bag and measure how quickly that falls to the earth. Um, and secondly, we're going to do it using a pendulum as well. So, it's exciting science that everyone can do. So, as a GDST girl, I never felt like I couldn't do anything. I was never told that I couldn't do science, that it was, you know, a more male-dominated field. I think we're quite lucky being GDST girls, you know, we're, we're just encouraged to do what we want to do and to indulge that passion and our skills in whatever field we wanted to do. There is still a problem. Um, the first time I discovered that I was a woman before I was a scientist was as a postgrad. Um, and unfortunately, there is still that kind of stigma associated with women in science. There is the kind of need to have to prove yourself a bit more. But hopefully, through things like this, you know, that, that will change over time. We can already see things changing. There are more women presenting Horizon. There are more women in the media doing science, doing real science, and not things like cosmetic chemistry. We're doing proper science science is useful so you know really applicable science and I think things like this are really important to encourage girls to get into physics and into chemistry and into biology and into engineering as well and just really put their skills to use in science.